I think fires the, is the most devastating thing. Dwight Lanter would know. He spent more than 30 years with the Forest Grove Fire Department. His son, Chris Lanter, is a duty officer for Banks Fire District 1. Chris is in Napa Valley, California now. I wish I wasn't retired or I'd be down there with him. Just hearing the devastation and stuff, I wanted to come down and help as much as we could. Chris talked with us by phone on his dinner break. He and six other firefighters from Banks are there with a task force from Washington County. They pulled into camp on Wednesday after a grueling trip and have been working 24 hours on, 24 hours off ever since. It's a lot, real long shift for a lot of the guys. Um, and then uh, the drive wiped a lot of us out, but we're all getting appropriate rest times and everything and it's going well. I'm really proud, but then I worry because this is a fire of catastrophic size that's never really been experienced before. Crews from all over Oregon and Washington are in California. The crew from Kaiser sent us these photos. For family and coworkers back home, communication is spotty at best. Cell service is a real bummer down there. Dwight says he's held off from reaching out to his son's department. You know, that's all they need is some retired fire captain dad calling Hey, what's my, is my kid okay? Instead, he relies on his faith. That's St. Florian. He's the patron saint of firefighters. And confidence in Chris's ability. He'll keep himself and his crew safe. Confidence that makes all the difference to Chris, even from hundreds of miles away. It's good to have their support, but I know it worries them and it's a dangerous job, but knowing that they support me helps out. Right now, Chris says he isn't sure when he and his crew will be able to come home, maybe sometime in the next five days. But guys, most of the crews we've been speaking with over the last week say they'll be down there for at least two weeks. Back to you.